Let us look at this problem under the system of concurrent force. The question says, find the value of x and y in the system of concurrent force shown below. Let me first of all draw attention to what we know in plotting graph. In the graph, we always consider this side as negative, here as positive, positive also, and this side as negative. Therefore, any force that will be pointing towards this negative side will be negative, whereas the ones that will point towards this positive side will be treated as positive forces. The first condition, we can say let the summation of all the vertical forces be equal to zero. So where are the vertical forces here? This is our vertical force. And for these ones that are neither vertical nor horizontal, we shall resolve them using the angle which they make with this horizontal. Uh, let's write this first vertical force, which is pointing towards positive side. Now we'll consider this one. This is a right angle triangle uh, with 30 degrees here already. This remaining side should be 60 degrees. And if a line should be drawn from here down to this place, a triangle will be formed. Let's look at the of the triangle that will be formed. The triangle will look like this. Where this is your hypotenuse and this is your opposite. And, and in trigonometry, we want to talk about hypotenuse and opposite. It's referring to sine. So this will be sine 60 is equal to opposite, which is V, all of hypotenuse, which is 25. You cross multiply this, it will give you V is equal to 25 sine 60. Is this force going to be negative or positive? Let's answer that by ourselves. If it should be rotated, to appear vertically, the arrow will be pointing down, which shows that it is negative. So it will be minus 25 sine 60. Under examination condition, we may not have time to draw the triangles. So how do we do it? Any force we want to resolve, check the angle it makes with horizontal. If it is vertical resolution, work with sine. That would be this force x sine 30 because the angle the for x makes with horizontal is 30 and again you consider the direction of the arrow if it should be rotated to appear vertically we point towards positive side so it will be plus x sine 30 don't forget also that some other person can say x cos 60 that's having known that sine 30 is something as cos 60 you can still work with that but for the sake of clarity and as a beginner, always work with sign when you talk about vertical resolution. Now you can play around with these arithmetics and your answer will pop out. But don't forget the condition says summation of vertical forces to be equal to zero. So you are going to put equal to zero here to complete the condition. Sine 60 we all know is 0 0.866 and sine 30 is 0 0.5. And uh, your x will give you 23.30 kN. The unit is very important whenever I talk about anything in science or engineering. Having gone through with the vertical resolution, we can go ahead to resolve horizontally. So you still state your condition. The summation of horizontal forces to be equal to zero. And when we talk about horizontal, this is a horizontal force. Don't forget, when we resolved vertically, we didn't add this force because this force is appearing on the horizontal axis. It is positive because it is on the positive side. You write it down. We're going to resolve this force because it is not in horizontal and it's not in vertical. It means a line is connected from this horizontal line to the force. A triangle will also be formed. Now let's extract the triangle and see how we resolve it. This is your horizontal line. This is your first x, which is the hypotenuse. So here we talk about adjacent and hypotenuse. And don't forget, in trigonometry, when we talk about adjacent and hypotenuse, we are referring to cos. Therefore, this will be cos 30 is equal to adjacent, which is h, all of hypotenuse, which is x. You go ahead and cross multiply to give you h is equal to x cos 30. 
Another question, is it going to be negative or positive? It will be positive because if this should be rotated to appear horizontally, we will point towards the positive side. Let's use our shortcut method to resolve 25 kN force. If you talk about horizontal resolution, always work with cos. So this will be 25 cos, the angle it makes with horizontal, which is 60. And it will be negative because if this force should be inclined horizontally, it will point towards this negative side. And it equal to zero because it is stated in a condition. Some other person can decide to say minus 25 sine 30. It doesn't matter, whichever way. But as a beginner, work with goals when you talk about horizontal resolution. When you improve, you can decide to use anyone you feel like. You can go ahead to resolve this and you also know that the value of x is already known to be 23.30 kN. So you can now substitute the value of x and finally um, your y will give you a minus 7.68. It's negative not because this force is a negative force. There is nothing like negative force. It's negative because the arrow is pointing towards the wrong direction. So if you want this answer to be positive, that means you are going to change the direction of the arrow. And if you change the direction of the arrow, the answer will change to positive. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and also share the link of this video to your friends you think may need this kind of explanation.